Aïe, photo d'Estirdon, this sub miniature radio made in the USSR in the late 60s. It is known as the Mars Prebo Intorg micro radio. And it is indeed very small. It is of course uh, AM only radio. So, how big is it? It is 4 cm wide, 3 cm in this direction, and 8 mm thick. It is a two band and six transistors radio, apparently. Here are the remains of the earplug for it, connected to this wire like so. It was powered by one button cell going in this compartment. As you can see, it is in pretty bad condition. I believe this acts also as an on-off switch. Here we must have a band selection button and here the frequency selection and you add no volume setting. I was lucky enough to find the, match, the schematic for the device. So as you can see, six transistors, variable capacitor here. This is the antenna we will see inside probably. Your transistors, your headset here, your coin cell here. And it is all. So, all this in this tiny box, how is it possible? First, we will have a look into the remains of the headset. It is a metal disc speaker, as you can see, with a magnet coil here, and this uh, as a speaker piece. Probably it was very, very bad. And now we will open this. So first, uh, this. If we remove this screw, we will see the probably uh, adjustable capacitor. Mm, not much to see, in fact. So here, on this little cover, you have actually the logo of the Mask Pribor Intog Company. I will link the Wikipedia article about it in the video description. Ok, and now if we pop the cover, it was glued uh, originally, but it is not glued anymore. Here is what we have inside. You can see all the space here is for the battery. Here we have the uh, wire wound antenna, little selection switch here, and here we have the circuit board. So I cannot zoom better than this. We have the six transistors which are dead bug mount. We can see one, two, three capacitors. And yes, there is something missing. If you check again the schematic, where are all the resistors, guys? So it is really insanely miniature for the, the time. It is uh, 1968, I believe. And it was really something back in the time. So the resistors are actually here on the other side. Because this, we have here a shielding plate in copper. We have the other side of the adjustable capacitor here. It seems, so maybe this is part of a capacitor. And here are your resistors and maybe also a few capacitors on this hybrid. It is quite amazing. Very shiny, actually. Oh, 
and the transistors are just uh, small metal cans so we will not uh, see any better with a USB microscope I believe oh there is a loose wire here it must be why it did never work by the way uh, it was probably yes, connected here is the output wire to the speaker and this insanely small thing it is two centimeters wide 1.5 here you can see the little uh, bonding wires or link wires to the actual circuit board on the other side and it is pretty amazing so sadly this unit is in very bad condition as you can see because it is uh, normally it is a collectible unit uh, very very rare but I was lucky enough to find one someday but it was in this condition if not from time to time they pop up on eBay but they can be quite uh, expensive with a nice micro logo here on the back on the speaker we have a brand and model you can see it is written 1968 we have uh, some logo here but it is in Cyrillic so I cannot really read it ok and here is a better look at your mask pointer logo it is a piece of a gear with um, light spikes and um, the letters ok so I will put this um, back in storage I am very annoyed because I do not know where to find some space to put it in storage no joking but I hope you did enjoy this uh, unusual teardown of uh, something very, very small. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.